नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ डिस्क्राइबिंग द सिस्टम विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड द डिफरेंस इक्वेशन जनरली डिफरेंस इक्वे डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विल बी यूज्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट कंटीन्यूस टाइम डोमेन एल टी आई सिस्टम एंड डिफरेंस इक्वेशन विल बी यूज्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट डिस्क्रीट टाइम डोमेन एल टी आई सिस्टम इज कंसिडर्ड अ कंटीन्यूस टाइम डोमेन सिस्टम टू विच एक्स ऑफ टी इज अप्लाइड एज एन एक्साइटेशन फॉर विच it provides the response y of t the standard differential equation can be represented as a n times nth derivative of y of t plus a n minus 1 times n minus 1 derivative of y of t up to a 0 times y of t will be equal to b m times nth derivative of x of t plus b m minus 1 times m minus 1 derivative of x of t up to v 0 times x of t so here you will see the uh, a n a n minus 1 up to a 0 as well as v m v m minus 1 up to v 0 they are nothing but the uh, constant coefficient of the system uh the equation will be considered is a representation of a continuous time domain lt s system only if it uh satisfy the two conditions the first condition is already mentioned that uh, this uh, coefficient that is an an minus 1 a0 as well as vm vm minus 1 up to v0 they they should be constant they must be constant uh so as to follow the time invariancy and to follow the linearity uh, all the initial conditions of this equation should be zero the generalized form of this equation is uh, represented as the summation of a k times k derivative of y of t where k will take the value from 0 to n and this summation will be equal to the summation of b k times k derivative of x of t where k will take the value uh, in the summation from 0 to m the order of this equation will be n like uh, it it depends like a uh, the highest order of the equation let's see some examples and uh, let's uh, find out whether the given equation is uh, representing the lti system or not if i compare this uh, given example or the given differential equation with the standard form uh, uh, we can get the values of the coefficient or uh, with we can get the values of a n a n minus 1 and v m v m minus 1 for the respective uh, coefficients so here uh, as the highest order of the differential equation is a uh, 3 uh, on the left hand side and on the right hand side it is equal to 1 so therefore we can consider the highest order of the uh, given differential equation is 3 and therefore the value uh, here which uh, the 4 is represented the value of a3 uh this uh, 2 is representing the value of a2 uh this is representing uh, the 3 is representing the value of a1 and 1 the coefficient of y of t is equal to 1 over here a1 similarly the here the coefficient of uh, first derivative of x of t is nothing but b1 which is 2 over here and the coefficient v0 which is the coefficient of x of t is equal to 5 as these values are constant therefore we can see this equation is representing the time invariant system and uh, as the initial conditions are not given so we can consider the initial condition as zero and therefore uh, if the initial conditions are zero then these uh, this equation uh, will represent the linear system so therefore we can consider the given equation the given differential equation is representing the lts system now let's take the look of next example uh, this example this equation is actually representing the uh, rlc circuit where l is representing the value of inductor r is representing the value of resistor and c is representing the value of capacitor in the circuit so upon comparing this uh, given differential equation with the standard one we can get the values 
of the coefficient as in a2 is equal to l, a1 is equal to r, a0 is equal to 1 by c and b0 is equal to 1. As these values are constant and therefore we can say the system uh, represented by this equation is nothing but the time invariant system and similarly as the initial conditions are not provided. So therefore we can consider the initial conditions are zero and therefore that zero initial condition this system this equation will represent the linear system and therefore we can say that uh, given differential equation uh, will represent the LTS system. Now let's take a look of the next uh, example. Here uh, we uh, let's compare this uh, given equation with the standard one. So if you compare it, uh, we can see that here the degree of the first derivative of y of t is uh, 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 is given in the differential equation, which is not. Uh, matching with the standard form which is not available in the standard format so in standard format we have not uh, considered uh, any uh, degree for the any differential uh, order so that's why uh, simply like uh, though the coefficients here are the constant but the system uh, the it is not providing the linearity and therefore uh, we can say that the given uh, differential equation does not represent the LTI system. Similarly, uh, let's take the look of the next equation. If I compare this equation with the standard one, then it is observed that the coefficient of x of t, which is nothing but the b0, is depending on the time as its value is 2 times t. So as uh, it depends on t it is representing the time invariant uh, time variant system and therefore we can simply from uh, this point itself we can say that it is not representing the lts system because lts system is a linear time invariant here as the one of the coefficient is depending on t it is representing the time variant system so therefore we will see this is not representing the uh, LTS system, continuous time domain LTS system as one of the coefficient is uh, depending on the t. Okay, so, because our condition, our expectation, or our criteria is uh, to uh, like any differential equation will represent uh, LTS system only if their its coefficients are constant and their initial conditions uh, is zero then only those equations will represent the LTS system, otherwise no. So therefore the given equation in this case is not representing the LTS system. Now let's go for the uh, next uh, s uh, s equations that is a difference equation. As I already mentioned that difference equations are generally used to represent the discrete time domain LTS system. Let's consider a LTS system, discrete LTS system, discrete time domain LTS system, uh, which provide us the response y of n for the excitation x of n. So for this system, this discrete time domain LTS system, the standard uh, format of the difference equation is given as a capital N times y of n minus 1 plus a uh, to uh, a, a, a1 times a uh, y of n minus 1 plus a0 y of n that will be equal to bm x of n minus uh, m plus uh, that summation will be up to uh, b0 x of n. So here uh, this is uh, how the standard format uh, we will have for representing the LTS system. Here also these values a n, a1, a0, b m, b1, b0, they should be constant. So the general format will be represented as a summation of these terms. Uh, so that will be the summation of a k times y of n minus k where k will take the values from 0 to capital N. And this summation will be equal to the summation of bk times x of n minus k where this k will take the value from 0 to capital M. 
so the example uh, we can see is uh, uh, this is a simple example we can have uh, which is representing the LTI system which is given as y of n minus 1 plus y of uh, n is equal to x of n so here uh, uh, this uh, the coefficients of your uh, uh, equation that is here a1 is equal to 1 a0 is also equal to 1 and the value of the v0 in this case is equal to 1 which is a constant and as this uh, equation is representing the linear uh, uh, equation we can see it is uh, representing the discrete time domain LTI system these are the references thank you